Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we have been building up to this video with all of the different styling, fashion challenges that I've been doing. I am going to try Project 333, which is essentially you curate your wardrobe to 33 items for three months. We did a week challenge, we did a 10 day challenge, we did a month challenge, and now here we are, three months. 33 items as well, oh my goodness. So you can find out more about the project at bemorewithless.com. There's also a book, but all of the information that I needed, I found on the website. So that's all good. The book's subtitle is The Minimalist Fashion Challenge That Proves Less Really Is So Much More. I'm nervous. Okay, so the rules. This is the important part. Okay, so the rules. When? Every three months. So this is something that you can like do in rotation. What? 33 items, including clothing, accessories, jewelry, outerwear, and shoes. That is wild. What not? These items are not counted as part of the 33 items. Wedding ring or other sentimental piece of jewelry that you never take off, underwear, sleepwear, in-home loungewear, <gasps> in-home loungewear, this changes a few things, and workout clothing. But your workout clothes have to work out. Okay, I'm actually filming this intro after having just done the big clear out and the uh, in-home loungewear is a game changer. How? Choose your 33 items, box up the remainder, seal it with tape and put it out of sight. And then what else? Consider that you are creating a wardrobe that you can live, work and play in for three months. Remember that this is not a project of suffering. If your clothes don't fit or are in poor condition, replace them or fix them. And then it goes on to give a bunch of tips and tricks for first timers. And then a whole thing about starting a new phase at the end of three months. And we shall see if when I get to the end of this three months, if it's something that I feel like continuing. So those are the parameters that we are working with. And I will now switch to past Hannah for the massive wardrobe clear out. So this is just the coats, bags, shoes, and scarves area of the room. And now I need to actually get all my clothes out and put them on the bed. I have boxes ready to organize. <laughs> by it all and I have no idea how I'm gonna get this down to 33 items including coats shoes bags and accessories like what also like it's shit weather now but we're approaching summer right right we'll just crack on we'll just crack on I think my strategy is going to be just without counting without thinking about the 33 just splitting things into love 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 like that oh, I fucking love this that and then everything else that isn't in that category will be split into two which is the oh yeah don't wear this at all this can be donated um and then whatever is <laughs> left over at the end what i imagine will happen is i'll have like way more than 33 items in my love 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 section so everything that's in the like ah or maybe it's just not the right season for it. All of that stuff will probably like go into storage and I just like won't even think about it. <laughs> okay, also this t-shirt is a workout tee, so it doesn't count. And I've got a few other things on the line that I just got out of the wash, um, so they're drying. And there's at least two items on there that are love, 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 love. And there's one item on there that I'm like, I think this is necessary to have in terms of like a layer that actually goes with clothes that I own. But we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's go. <laughs> So I've only done 
coats, bags, and shoes. And I've already filled the boxes. <laughs> so <laughs> this is my like, oh wait, no, you're in the wrong box. You go over there. Come here. This is the, um, I like and uh, someday will be useful again because I've actually got a lot of love, love, love items in here, like that scarf and my coats, but it's just not the weather for them or it won't be the weather for them. This is my like sell slash donate pile. Oh my God. And then this is what's left over, which jackets did quite well. I only have a denim jacket and my raincoat, but is that going to be enough? Bags. <sighs> I think there's too many. Shoes, definitely too many. Need to figure it out. Running shoes don't count though. They don't count. And those are my tennis shoes. So maybe like we cannot count those. And then belts. This will depend on what clothes I pick. So I've kept them out just in case. These might be able to go, but without these, I don't have any waterproof shoes. Maybe these count as waterproof, but like walking shoes for walking when it's wet and muddy. <laughs> Okay, so I've made some progress. We have things in the piles. So let's go through this. Down here is the sell slash donate. I wish it was bigger. I wish there was more, but alas. Okay, let me come this way. This is the keep, but not for now. And then this is the extended keep, but not for now. I just, I just couldn't. And also like we have four seasons in this country, so you know, there's just clothes that you're not gonna wear. And then we come over here, you saw this before. This is the love shoes, bags, coats, accessories. And then this pile is the love clothes. I didn't count. So now the situation is to go through the love pile, the love piles, and get this down to 33. I've also just realized that I'm pretty sure in the 33, it counts like jewelry as well, but not jewelry that you like wear every day. Um, but I've decided to sack that rule because also it says through it that it's meant to be a project of joy, not suffering. Um, and even though obviously I've got like my wedding and engagement ring, and then I've got these that I basically wear constantly, but every so often I do like to switch these out for more of my like dangly pieces. Maybe I just pick like one necklace and one pair of dangly earrings that are just gonna be the ones that I switch out for, but I probably won't count it in my 33, just looking at the state of things now. Okay, I think my plan is to go through the clothes first, because I think once I know what my like, staple outfits and like color combos and stuff are gonna be, then I can more effectively select shoes and bags. <laughs> everything and now we can count and take stock of the situation. One, two, three, four, five skirts. However, one of these skirts is only in here because it helps one of my dresses be not see-through. Um, so I don't know if that should count, but five skirts. One, two, three, four, five pairs of trousers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dresses. One, uh, two, three, four. Four outer layers. The only thing is, is that all of these could easily go under the rain jacket, but only the shorter ones, the orange and the blue ones, could fit under the denim jacket, because these ones are long, but you know, you don't always need them. Fingers crossed he gets hot this summer. Okay, next. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten tops. Pretty sure there's just three pairs of shorts there. 
my trusty summer shorts, three pairs of shorts. And then we have here, one, two, three, four dungarees slash play suit section. So let's add that up. Five, 10, 17, 21, 31, 34. What did I say there was here? Four, 38. Okay, so this is 38 things. And then down here we've got two, some, and some more. Sorry about my bin. So my plan is to go through each category and discard my least favorite or favorites, least favorites. Okay, so if we're going on outer layers, my least favorite is this blue one, but I've only got four of these, but ah, okay, right. So we've got gray, yellow, orange, right. Tops, least favorites, okay. I feel like I've got less stuff to go with this thing, less stuff to go with this thing. You're a least favorite. See, the red one is a new one, which is why I'm not putting it as a least favorite, but I'm also like, what do I actually have that would go with this? Because so many of my things don't really go with red. So we got rid of one, two, three, four tops, maybe five. We're left with one, two, three, four, five. Is it ridiculous that I'm left with three white tops? And they're all crop tops. Are we left with all crop tops? Yeah. But it's my summer style. Am I being really optimistic and I'm just gonna be left with clothes and I'm just gonna be freezing cold? This is basically my summer uniform. We've already established this. And then this red one, guess what? It's also a crop top. Is it a good thing that I just have like lots of the same thing because I've clearly figured out my style or is it a bad thing and I just have too many of the same thing? Okay, so shorts, I only got three, but if I was to pick my least favorite, it would be the white stripy ones. And then we're left with these, which are super comfy and then denim, which super versatile and make my butt look fucking great. Okay, dresses, <laughs> oh dresses. Okay, love, love. So this is the one that has the skirt underneath it. I do love this and it's just like, it's a different vibe. It's a different vibe. And then obviously the yellow dress I love. These two are just summer staples because um, they work so well in the heat for just like casual chill days. Maybe this is my least favorite one. When was the last time I wore this? It is super cute though. It's like, if you know, just wanna be a bit more fancy, fancy, fancy pants. No, I can't get rid of any, right, no. <laughs> Breaking my own rules. We're leaving the dress. Trousers. I think my least favorite is probably the green ones, which is a shame because I do love them. One, two, three, four. Right. Skirts. Okay. So love. I do love this, but actually maybe it's not the season. So no, you're my least favorite. And then I think I might also sack off this skirt too. So we're left with like two and a half skirts because this is the underskirt for that thing. Maybe I'll just put it, I'll put it with the dress because it's technically what dress. Jumpsuits, dungarees. Oh, this one's hard. Right, so these are, are a definite winner. This maybe not, maybe we sack this off, although it's, it will be good for like when I actually dress up a bit more for parties, but it's also can be super cash. Right, these two, I think I might sack this one off. It's corduroy, so that kind of reminds me of winter. And then we'll keep this denim first aid kit situation that was upcycled by Nell from Lucid Seams. Let's do a recount and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do about this red, <laughs> about this red top. Like it, it's just, is this too ridiculous? Like I'd keep it if I could like match it with like, is that chaos? What about this? Is that equally chaos? Like, I don't know. Like all, look at these colors together, beautiful. But like, can you? Right, okay, taking stock. So that leaves me seven. Just think having a bit of red adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the ensemble. Do you know what I'm saying? But can I match it with all of my yellows and oranges? I forgot about the love items that are currently on the washing line. So one of them is my sunflower dress, which even though it's got sunflowers on it, it's actually a very thick dress and I associate more with autumn winter. So that one will go. And then the other one is just um, my favorite kind of like high neck blue and white stripy top. That one is staying. So actually we have 28 items, which means we've got five slots left. <gasps> ah! Okay, let's see. And then maybe we have to get rid of like the one of the black and white spotty 
items and maybe the red thing. Okay, so we're gonna take stock of this area, right? So we have one, two coats. We have uh, three belts. However, because of the clothes that I picked out, I'm actually only going to keep the red one. Um, I'm not gonna need these two. So that's an easy, that's an easy switch. Right, bags. One, two, three, four, five. Shoes, however, because these are my running shoes and these are the shoes that I play tennis in and we don't count workout gear, which I'm kind of cheating a bit because I also wear these just normally, but I wear them for tennis. So these two are not being counted because they're workout clothes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. How many bags did I say I had? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so six, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so we need to get this 14 down to five. <laughs> These are a no, no, no go. We gotta keep those because British summer, it's gonna rain. Need an outer layer. This one, definitely, definitely staying. This one is also probably going to stay because it's like, my um, going away for a night or two bag. So this one also has to stay. I'm not happy about it because it's like a necessity that's taking up a slot. Not cool. And then oh, I love this bag, but I think we're gonna have to say no to it this time round because it basically serves the same function as this one in terms of the amount of stuff that it can carry, but it's just slightly more fancy and I'm not really having a fancy time at the moment. We're just going, we're going cash, we're going cash. And then I probably should pick between these two bad boys. This is the one, the black one I just basically use all of the time. It fits like my stoma bags and my wallet in it. Does this fit my stoma bags and my wallet in it? But question, would the red as an accessory actually just like bring me a lot more joy. I think the red would bring me more joy instead of just going with the black. So I think I'm gonna keep the red, scrap the black. Okay, we've got that down from five to three. Shoes, I think we're just gonna scrap these. These are winter boots and we just, I don't know what we do on rainy days, but we figure out. These are staying. This one's really tricky because I haven't worn any of these shoes in like the last six months because it's been winter. I should probably decide between these two, I guess. These ones are more comfy, even though they are falling apart. So I think I'm gonna go with these ones over the yellow ones. And then oh, these are just like generic sandals, like good sandals. These are more like I'm going to a party. I don't know, right, I'm gonna scrap these. I haven't worn them in forever, even though I fucking love them. I just haven't had an excuse to. What has that taken us to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Seven, eight. So that brings us to 37 items total. <coughs> Why am I finding this so hard? Oh, do we get rid of the, the black polka dot? We've got this one and we also have the black polka dot play suit. Do we get rid of the red top? What would that bring us down to? Do I get rid of the first aid kit dungarees? Cause like, have I really been wearing them? So I would rather keep the long dress than the black and white polka dot play suit. So you're going. I think the first aid kit one is also going. So that's taken us down to 35. I think I've done it. I think we're gonna have to do a double check. Right, let's count, let's count. Ah. Wait, what? At what point have I miscounted? How are we now at 31? I've got two extra items that I can re-add. Right, recount. Okay, I miscounted. I think I missed one of my pairs of trousers. So we're at 32, but then I remembered that the blue and white top that's currently on the line 
is definitely, definitely, definitely being included in this. <laughs> Question is, I think I've gone way too hard on this being a summer wardrobe. How on earth? Like the person who invented this, who created this, said that they managed it three months in a really like, like lots of varying weather and temperature. And I'm like, how though? This is gonna be interesting. Right, now to put it all back, the ones that I'm keeping and figure out what to do with all of my clothes that I don't wanna donate and sell, but aren't, didn't make the final cut. Dan's ties. Wow. And then this is Dan's bit. All of those hangers. We're not getting rid of the wedding dress and the petticoat, obviously. That's staying. <laughs> wow. This is ridiculous. This <laughs> It's so empty, I don't understand. Oh my God, I could actually like probably, if I knew how to fold clothes, I could probably do a thing where I could see every single item or something like, like there we go. There's all my clothes. <laughs> there it is. Take your pick, Hannah. Oh my God. This is the jumper drawer. Um, and I realized that um, I, decided not to keep any jumpers, Ugh, which might be a bad idea. I do have my like um, blue hoodie thing, but I count that as like a workout item because it's from Fabletics. And it tends to be like a layer that I wear when I play tennis before I then get, get too hot and take it off. So maybe that can be my only jumper that I keep and I use as a layer. We're creating a bit of our own rules here, it's fine. When it comes to jewelry though, this jewelry over here, oh hello. I'm not actually gonna take all of this off and figure out how to store it because that just seems like a nightmare. So the jewelry is staying. Maybe I'll like feel like I have to have fun with jewelry because I've got so little to play with. We shall see. Oh, there's another me in my underwear. Is this weird? Is it weird? I don't think so. So it's all well and good having a very tidy wardrobe and chest of drawers. However, I need to figure out what to do with this. And then this is the uh, donation pile. But more importantly, where the fuck do I put all of these clothes? I have a storage unit, so we might just have to like box all of this crap up and take it over there. So this Ikea bag and these two boxes are for storage. They're my like autumn winter clothes. And then this bag and these two suitcases are to go to a charity shop along with this selection of things that have been in our hallway for the last few months because I did a clear out right before lockdown three, I think. So they've just been down our hallway just hanging out. But I'm very happy about this and also Terrified, mostly terrified because I'm like, have I um, committed to summer too soon? Am I going to be warm enough? <laughs> I don't know. So here we are. My clothes are literally in boxes, sealed with tape and about to be taken off to another location. Like not even, they're not even gonna be in this house because it's a London flat and storage <laughs> is um, minimal. Slash I've got lots of clothes. But I completely forgot about the in-home loungewear thing. So that includes obviously my leggings and I'm going to grab one hoodie and one jumper back out of the boxes that will be my in-home loungewear part of that uniform. I'm allowing it. The rules said so. So my plan for this project is to do a couple of video updates, maybe just one or two during the three months and then one at the end of how it all went. Will I be continuing doing this process and all of that good stuff? So if you want to stay up to date with how the project is going, how it went, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the videos. Mm -hmm -hmm. And also you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram over here because 
outfit posts. That tends to be where I put them. Also do let me know in the comments or also on Instagram if you have ever done this challenge or if you are somebody who keeps like a minimalist like capsule wardrobe kind of thing or if this is the first time you've heard of it and you're intrigued and you want to also take part and join me because then we can all check in with each other support each other offer like tips and advice to see how we're all doing hold each other accountable and all of that good stuff i do feel like i maybe cheated a little bit with not including jewelry in it maybe i will just spend the entire three months just with these in my ears and not even touch my other beautiful beautiful jewelry but don't blame me if i do touch my other jewelry all right that is it off we go project 333 i'll see you next week for another one of these videos but if you're just tuning in for this series then i'll see you in like a month or a month and a half for an update or over on my instagram okay bye